stocks by day, sports by night, trading around the clock. Sports, value, life. Going fine. It's a leak. All right, it's Monday. We're going to take a trip to the uh, Melbourne. There it is down there. It's filled to the brim. Um, lots of baseball, 90s stuff, Piazza, Thomas, uh, Griffey. So um, let's see what we got. Grab the cutter. We'll get down to business here. Starting off with a 1990 score, and that is a Frank Thomas. And uh, nice looking card. I think the pop on this is around 20 to 30 percent. But I will post the pops on these. Um, I just read tonight that starting May 2nd, um, YouTube's not going to allow you to add annotations that's how I've been adding in the pops so um, I have to figure out a different way to do it because I actually like that feature just to give you guys a little in-depth in look at condition sensitivity and such so uh, let's go through this package <clears throat> I think this is like five packages that I open and just put in one so I can show the cards but this is the Neat looking stuff. Oh, this was something I bought to, to grade. It was pretty pricey, but it's a Mike Trout. It's tier one, 15 or 16? 15. Um, looks like it is in pretty good shape. It's got a nice patch there. Sticker autograph, so we'll send this off and see how we do. And then this is kind of just one I bought to resell. I like trout. The stuff's just so expensive. Um, Patrick Kane up next. This is an UD Artifacts 2007-2008 out of 599. This is the base version. I think there's parallels of these that are numbered lower. But this would be your true rookie, or whatever you want to call it. But it's a nice looking caner. Um, Piazza 92 Fleer Update PSA 9. This is sold as a box set, I believe. There's no packs. Um, but this is one of his only rookie cards. He's got the uh, Bowman Fleer update, and then he's got like classic best stuff. That's all I can think of. Oh, he's got a Donruss Phenoms. This is sick. This was expensive though, like 65 bucks. But it's uh, Flair Hot Gloves 97. I think it's a tough pull too, so it's tough to get this in a pack. And this is one that's definitely going off. Um, it's just a slick looking card. Like a die cut version, but it's got like fire coming out of it. So cool. Um, here's a Beckett card. It's a Beckett 9 of Manny Ramirez 93 SP. I just love the 93 SP. Even though it's not a, a rookie card, it's an early Manny issue. So um, this one's a Beckett 9. The corners are 8.5, and there's a lot of white showing on the corner, so I understand why I got the grade it got there. So he's got some Oakleys on. Okay. New packages. This is a 2001 UD Victory FX, and it's out of 750 down here on the bottom. That was like five bucks. <clears throat> Griffey Bowman 89. It is just a base. Yeah. Um, these go for like 55 to 75 if you guys are interested in adding this to your collection. But um, 89 Bowman Griffey. It's got the little tall look. Like the classic Bowmans. But it was cool how, how they used to do that on the old Bowmans. Say where they made their debut and where they played like the last season. So there's a cool Griffey. Packed pretty well. Oh, coupons too. Cool. Okay. Let's try to get that out. Um, so this is GMA. I have no clue what kind of company that is, but um, I know I bought a different one of these and I just snapped it out and uh, sent it to PSA. It'll probably be worth like 10 times as much just being in the PSA holder, but just by staring at it, I think it's off centered. So I think it still has a chance at a 9. It, it, it could get a 10. It's going to be perfectly centered. But it looks sharp as ever. I don't know what how these cards were issued. I'm going to guess at the minor league games or whatever. But it's a Cedar Rapids 2010 Trout card. 
that's number two of three. So I just get different ideas like that to try to create value out of cards. Um, if they're in different slabs, you know, sometimes they're not tampered with and they're actually in good condition. They're just with the wrong company. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. The flames are going through there. That's why you tape your cards in. I mean, I would have thought about sending this in, but to Juan Gonzalez, it's just like the Griffey, but um, come on. Tape your cards in. Neutral feedback is what should be coming on that, but it's a Juan Gonzalez. He, he's a hell of a player. Uh, did he use steroids? Probably. I don't know. He probably injected Conseco when they played together. There's a funny highlight of Conseco when he played with Texas. He was playing the outfield and he was going to get the ball and uh, the ball hit his head <laughs> went over the fence. And the, the joke back then was, uh, Jose, can you see? I just remember that as a kid. That's probably like 94. Uh, Griffey Jr. PSA 8. These are it's like 25 to 35 on these. I see uh, raw ones going for even more than 8s, which is a little surprising, but I guess when they're not graded, you still have the possibility of a 9 or a 10, and but also the possibility of like a 5, so it's just like part of the, the gamble of the hobby that's so fun. Makes total sense to me. Um, this is cool, and it was really cheap. These are impossible to grade, but still a neat card. It's uh, absolute memorabilia 01. It's the 850. Um, I think like only the. I'm just making this up as I go, but I think it's like only the first 50 or 100 were signed. Because I don't think there's 850 of these, but it's a cool Wayne. He's a Hall of Famer. This one's heavy. Oh, this is prop style. Let's see what's in this one. Could be some interesting stuff. There's a card showing his prices, so it's actually not that bad if you don't have to pay. You don't pay the, uh, oh yeah, they pay all the eBay and PayPal fees. This is actually a pretty good, damn good deal. You're going to get more exposure. I, I see why people do it, for sure. So I'm not <laughs> advertising for props time, but I do understand. Um, I think I was just bored one night. I just wanted some Cal Ripkins. They were like 7 bucks a piece, but there's 91 tops. Uh, 93 tops with the horizontal view. Um, 84 Donruss, that's a cool one, PSA 10. I'm not sure, I think that was like 25 or 30, so a little more pricey on the, the older cow. That would be a third year cow. Rookie's 82. 97 tops cow. This was the year after he broke the record for consecutive games played. He, he had 3,000 hits, right? Yeah, for the most positive. Probably like 3,200. Um, we got a George Brett, that's 83 down there. So that's Tony Gwynn, Boggs, and Ryan Sandberg's rookie year. And another 83, uh, 84. The back looks very similar. Oh, it's a different color. <laughs> Not that similar. Uh, Nolan Ryan. When I was a kid, people used to ask me, uh, is that, were you named after Nolan Ryan? I had to tell everybody, no, my parents don't follow baseball at all. It's just a weird. It's actually not that rare of a name anymore. There's, there's a lot of Nolans out there. All right, let's get back to the cards. Let's not talk about my name. <clears throat> this is uh, PWCC. These are badass sealed air jiggy rig bag. <laughs> that's that's pretty tough stuff right there. I guess there's only one card in here. Take a browse. That's not mine. Oh, that's my brother's. <laughs> that's happened before. <clears throat> Camera's kicking out on me. Um, I'll have to charge the battery and do the second half of this video. Uh, 88 Fleer, Michael Jordan, PSA 9. This was for the Jordan registry. I'm just going to pile up a bunch of 9s and then maybe some 10s of the more modern stuff. Just get a respectable collection going. Um, I've never been a huge Jordan fan. I mean, I, I liked him more as a kid. He just, he, he was awesome, don't get me wrong. He just seems kind of pompous in different interviews and places he's been lately. So, okay. Right, next package. Um, what have we got?
more cows. Uh, 82 Don Ross, Cal Ripken, and that one is a PSA 9, so that's the rookie. It's pretty sick. He looks like uh, Ray Liotta to me. Younger Ray Liotta, obviously. But. And then, that's sick. 82 Tops traded Cal. It's an 8.5, so. He does have a Tops rookie, but this is the traded version, so. I actually like this one better because on the the regular tops issue he's with like two or three other players and just to me that takes away from the card when they're on a card with somebody else who didn't really pan out it just I'm not a fan of that just my opinion sloppy we got cards coming out of cases here. Tape's expensive, guys. That one's coming out a little bit. <clears throat> that one's just out. And this one's pushing out. Man. Little things like that just bug me because it's so easy just to tape a card in. Not that these are like high valued cards, they're just Griffey inserts from the 90s, but. They're still cool cards. So, Leaf Limited. We got the Leaf Gold Stars from 95, I believe. Yeah, that one's out of 10,000. And then also 300 Club. What is that? 300 Career Average, which I think he held. He might have finished a, a hair under, but I'll have to look it up. Jesus. This was like 25 or $30. Can't even tape it in. Take a breath. <laughs> Manically Donruss 84. Um, this is a really valuable card in the right condition. So I see a little printing dot right there, but I don't know, maybe we have an 8 or an 8.5. I don't, don't really get my hopes up too high when you're buying raw cards on eBay, but every once in a while you come across gems, so that's what you hope for. There we go. Mandatory. There's a Vic. His stuff's actually going up a little bit. Not like crazy, but I've I've noticed it's uh trending upwards slightly. I don't know, maybe because he retired and people come to realize that he was a pretty special, unique player. And it was cool that he was left handed. Pretty much every quarterback's right handed. Um, <laughs> I went nuts on these. These were cheap, though. I think it's like a hundred of them. It might be seven. I'm not going to count them, but they're uh, 1990 score Frank Thomas's. And uh, it's either 75 or 100 for like 25 bucks. So do the math. 20, 20 cents, 35 cents, something like that. 25 to 40 cents for a Frank Thomas score rookie. I'm in all day on that. And who knows, maybe some of those are slabable. Um, Connor McDavid, this is an OPG Platinum, which is which is akin to Top Scrum. So he actually just had hit the 100 point mark. I think that's the Art Ross Trophy. I'm still pretty new to hockey. But it's definitely an awesome sport for off start Wednesday. Uh, okay. Let's go in here. We got a 93 Bowman Derek Teeter. Um, this was like $9 plus shipping, so not crazy expensive. And I know from busting two boxes that you're not guaranteed a Jeter, so pretty cool to have one. Alright, next. That's cool. That's the, uh, this was once a, uh, I want to say like $500 card, just raw, something like that, back in 1998 when him and Sosa were, uh, challenging the steroid, I mean, the, the home run record. So, uh, PSA 9 Moot. This is from the Olympic team, so I guess he was on, like, the Olympic team for the Olympics, I don't know. Let's do another prop stein. This one's filled up pretty good. Yep. 
are going to end on this one. Okay, so we got a LeBron James. That's a UD Black Diamond uh, triple jersey, triple diamond jersey to 100. This was actually pretty cheap, considering it's a LeBron rookie to 100. Can't remember the price, but maybe like 70 bucks. So. Um, we got some Griffies. This is the Donruss 89. Let's try to figure out what's wrong with it because this is a mint 9. So slightly off-centered on the front. There's usually print errors on these. There's some print errors down here on his jersey I can already see. So it's only a couple things. Sometimes it's just, just one thing keeping it back. Um, score future franchise. Just a cool Alex Rodriguez early insert. This is more of the time I was a fan of him. Um, he was actually pretty incredible in 96 as like a second year player. He batted like, th it's like 336. I don't know why I know the number, but like 30, 336, 36, and 123. Somebody check that. <laughs> if, I, if I know that, that's pretty damn good. Um, Flair hot, hot Glove, Griffey, Mint 9. These, these are really easy to grade. It's not much can go wrong. That's 94. Um, This could use a top loader, but I guess it's okay like this. It's a really cool card. I want to take it out and show it to you guys. Um, it's got that stupid Sharpie writing on it, but it's the uh, purple version, so there's only a hundred of them. It's hand numbered, but it's a Players Inc. on card of Edge, so I just thought this was a must have, and it went really cheap. I think it was like 35 bucks or something. Which, I mean, I think that's pretty low. It was, a, it was an auction, and if two people don't see it, stuff's going to go low. Um, pros and prospects, Tomlinson. This is just sick out of a thousand. Your chipping on these is always on the bottom on this uh, bottom portion. The back's all white, so just look for dents, but your chipping is going to be down here on these. And then lastly, another mint nine. Let's try to find what's wrong with it real quick. I think there's some print errors. I'm <laughs> making that up, but no, that, that, there's one right there. <laughs> Just in a weird mood with these tonight. So this was just uh, recently slabbed. There's the backing on that one. So I um, hope you guys liked the mail. Uh, nothing crazy, like high end, but kind of have more fun with the lower end stuff right now. So later, guys. I'm out.